Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cynical and welcome back to another video. Today for you guys, we're going to be talking about Final Fantasy 16. It has been a hot minute since we last talked about anything to do with FF16. Obviously with its reveal back in, I, I believe, September of 2020. We were talking about it for a little while. Um, but unfortunately last year, it went pretty much radio silent. It was announced that in 2020, uh, 2021 would serve as a year to promote the game and show more of it. And unfortunately, due to the circumstances of COVID-19, it ended up actually, unfortunately, delaying the game's development by about half a year, according to Yoshi P. So that's hence the reason why we didn't end up seeing anything furthermore on Final Fantasy 16. And since its initial reveal, we haven't seen anything. It's been a hot minute. What's really exciting though is recently we have received a uh, status update towards where the development currently stands with this game and it seems like Final Fantasy 16 might not actually be too far away, potentially maybe even looking at uh, this year towards release. Uh, if not this year, I would say sometime early next year, but apparently the game is in the final stages of development. So this comes as pretty good news considering that the last time we saw anything to do with 16 was its initial reveal. We've seen one trailer, that's literally it. So to hear the words uttered, it's in the final stages of development, it is kind of music to our ears, right? I'm really looking forward to this, personally. For those of you who didn't catch my Final Fantasy 16 videos back when it got revealed, I'm really looking forward to this. My eyes are kind of more so set on Final Fantasy these days with uh, the, the sort of genre shift that uh, they've been kind of taking these series in. When we look towards 15, it leans more towards an action RPG. And when we look towards the Final Fantasy 7 remake, it certainly leans more towards an action RPG with the tactics system kind of intertwined in there uh, to cater towards those OG Final Fantasy fans. But because Final Fantasy is going more in like an action RPG direction, uh, being that I really do struggle with turn-based games, yeah, I'm pretty captivated on Final Fantasy these days. And when looking at 16, although we don't know the specifics of the combat, uh, it seems like this is probably gonna be the most real-time action RPG a Final Fantasy game has been, aside from the recent Stranger of Paradise. However though, I thought I'd just read out the news. Big shout out to Audrey for giving us translations. This information is coming from a Final Fantasy 35th anniversary write-up in a magazine known as Uniqlo uh, or something, so a Japanese magazine. But this is the statement that was given by Yoshi P. In case you guys don't know, Yoshida Naoki, who is the uh, current director for Final Fantasy XIV, it's what he's best known for, is the uh, current director for Final Fantasy 16. So he's both directing 14 as well as 16 side by side. It's pretty cool because 14 is held to a very high praise and so uh, a lot of people are highly anticipating 16 to be an absolute smash hit. He mentioned we're in the final stages of development for the new numbered game in the series, Final Fantasy 16. We aim to deliver a comprehensive game full of story and gameplay unlike an online game that involves many players at the same time, of course referring to Final Fantasy XIV. FF16 offers a different experience where it focuses on the individual player and immerses you in the story. He's basically just saying this is a single player role playing game. I think it's a very fleshed out story for those who have grown up and realized that reality isn't kind to you and have drifted away from Final Fantasy. We hope that Final Fantasy 16 will be a game that can bring back anew the passion that you once had with the series. This is kind of hilarious, in that that final statement is sort of hilarious because he's basically saying, yeah, we're going back to the roots of Final Fantasy. It's obviously returning to the high fantasy setting where Final Fantasy over the past, over more so than a decade, has uh, intertwined sci-fi elements into it. Uh, so obviously we've known this since the trailer was first shown to us that yeah, finally it's going back to that OG Final Fantasy setting being very much fantasy orientated and not mixing in concepts of reality into fantasy like with what we see with Final Fantasy 13 or Final Fantasy 7. And also, uh, just looking at Final Fantasy 16, it looks a lot darker than what we're usually used to. The use of blood seems a little bit more prominent. Yeah, I'm really excited for this one. So the game is in the final stages of development. That's nothing but good news. Uh, and we do know, due to the uh, status update that was given at the start of this year, that Final Fantasy 16 uh, will finally be getting a proper unveiling or the next major update towards which spring of this year, now referring to Japan's spring, 
Uh, that started in March and goes through until May. So essentially we should be seeing the next slice of Final Fantasy 16 within the next month. Now, no doubt Square Enix will likely have another Square Enix Presents show this June. This is the show for Square Enix that usually appears during the E3 period. Now we know E3 is cancelled this year, but like we've seen with the Xbox and Bethesda um, conference that is happening in June, they're still going ahead regardless of E3. So I'd say it's pretty likely that Square Enix will end up doing the same. They'll end up just doing their own show. Uh, in order to, of course, unveil what they are currently working on. And without a doubt, Final Fantasy XVI is their next big AAA project. When I was kind of looking at the release schedule 2 of this year in regards to Square Enix, when we look at, like, big AAA titles releasing for the last half of this year, there's really not too much in the pipeline. I think the biggest release we've got on the horizon for Square Enix is for Spoken that was supposed to come out in May, unfortunately was delayed until the 11th of October. But even when you look towards For Spoken, while it is a triple A uh, project from Luminos Studios, uh, I know a lot of people are excited about this, there isn't guaranteed sales when looking at this, mainly because it is a brand new IP. No doubt, Square Enix will sell heaps of copies of this and make a lot of money through it, but because it's not already a pre-established IP, I think it would be risky to only just have that as their big fall game. Um, so it makes me think, like, could Final Fantasy 16 with Forspoken releasing in October be maybe their big November, December fall game? I think what this really tells us though is with Square Enix and their reputation and history of announcing games way too early, I think they're starting to actually step past that and they're learning from previous mistakes of announcing projects just far too early, way too early in development. Like from the footage that we saw of Final Fantasy 16, it was obviously all in engine, it was all gameplay, cutscenes were properly compiled in there. It looked like at the point of its reveal back in 2020, a lot of programs Progress had already been made on this project. So by now, things are pretty much all finalized with, of course, uh, the development essentially being almost complete. So that really does tell us that they're starting to learn, I feel, and this is nothing but good news when looking more so towards Kingdom Hearts 4 as well. Uh, their next big game should, without a doubt, be Final Fantasy 16. So when we look towards Kingdom Hearts 4, uh, it makes me think that, yeah, while I think the whole idea of getting Kingdom Hearts 4 next year right at the end of the year could possibly be a thing, I'm more so leaning towards 2024, because let's say if Final Fantasy 16 ends up releasing, I don't know, maybe February of next year, I don't think we're going to have 16 in Kingdom Hearts 4 in the same year, so early 2024 would make sense. I think the next big game that would then come after Kingdom Hearts 4 would be the Final Fantasy 7 Remake Part 2 project that we already know is currently in development which I could then see that releasing in 2025. Uh, three big hitters year after year. First one being 16, Cage 4, then Remake Part 2. However though, I don't think it should be too much longer until we get to see Final Fantasy 16. Like I said, they uh, have promised the whole spring update thing and spring is coming to a close over the next month. Though it wouldn't surprise me if they push back this reveal of 16 until maybe June, if that's where Square Enix are going to have their Square Enix Presents show, if they're going to have one, and use that stream to pretty much give us a complete rundown, a big blowout of Final Fantasy 16, and to hopefully maybe see coming this year or coming early 2024. It's a very unusual setup for Square Enix, but it's one that comes very welcome due to their ongoing reputation, of announcing things far too early. Alright guys, that is all for today. Uh, I am very excited for this. Uh, one way or another, we're going to know exactly what is happening with this game very soon, and I cannot wait to see an updated look of this, as it's been quite some time. Have a good I'm Cynical, hopefully having a fantastic day as always. Leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below, and I'll see you dudes real soon. Peace.